recently I saw on the internet a video on how to make a person's legs longer and I was surprised at the approach that they took. I just thought I might show a more professional way to deal with uh, this technique. The way that I saw on the internet was just by simply making a selection around the area, uh, copying that layer and then pasting it and then free transforming. I've used my shortcut keys, so Command C, V, and then T, and then retransforming. But what you'll notice, like it is making the leg longer, but it has distorted the shape of the foot. So if I turn that layer off, you'll see the foot just getting long and not looking quite uh, realistic. Notice when I made my selection that I have a feather of 20 pixels. What that will do, it will blend this leg to the other layer. Saves me some work later on down the track. But what I want to do, I want to still use this foot and place it on, over this layer. So I still have the original foot underneath. So let's just, again, um, feathering my selection. And just make a nice big wide selection around the foot and then again copy and paste. I'm going to change the layer order so I'll bring this layer on top and with my move tool it's going to try and move that into, into place. So that way I'm not getting that really stretched uh, foot uh, effect. So I'm just going to zoom in and have a look so I can uh, just finely tune the positioning so make sure that it, that it meets. But you'll notice here that now I've got a bit of a problem with the shadow, but that's okay. I'll create a separate layer. Hit S on my keyboard to make my clone stamp tool active, making sure I'm sampling current and below, and using a soft edge brush to be able to sample from here and then just fill that area in So now that the, uh, the shadow also will meet. So I've got a few layers there, I've got the shadow, foot and for the leg. I'll turn all those off so from here to there. So if you're elongating part of the figure Make sure that you don't distort areas of the body that will be recognisable. Things like uh, hands and uh, feet can look kind of silly if you don't deal with them individually. And if you'd like to have a look at any other tutorials, just have a look at my website, thephotographystudies.net.